you know, and she'll be like, did Louis jerk off in front of you? And they're you know, all snakes, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're absolutely. all snakes. And it, like jur- journalism attracts the most vicious kind of people because no matter what they do, as long as like they're typing, they can justify it as being like, oh, this is, I'm, I'm, this is for like some sort of greater good. It is 100% bad now, all of it. Mm-hmm. Everything's crumbling. Jordan Peterson works for Ben Shapiro. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No, but fuck both those guys. That's crazy. Yeah. He was like a philosopher. He was like a... Yeah, he was just some shitty college professor. He wasn't that shitty. I saw him debate. He was actually kind of smart. Now he's just falling apart sobbing debate all the who? time. Zizek, who's like... That thing, that, was a, that thing was a clown show. Well, they were just two oppos- opposing things, but I thought... But they weren't even opposing. It was like just they couldn't even agree on basic terms. Right, I mean, but uh, Peterson was good at... Zizek speaks in complete gibberish, and he, mm-hmm. I thought Peterson was doing a good job translating what he was saying. Mm-hmm. He was... He did have... I mean, his, like... He did help a lot of incels make their beds. He, he had points before, but now he's really... I mean... Ironically, he's like a trans woman now. I mean, I know he's against it, but he's like sobbing all the time. He's like slowly morphing into an old lady. It would be very funny if he was like, actually, I'm trans. It uh, might happen. He's been quite a little bit. And then everyone's just wasted the last five years getting mad. (laughs) Yeah. Just at one crazy person. There's been a lot of paying attention to crazy people over the last 10 years. Yeah. That kick up. I got sucked into this whole looking into like... So there's the D trans community, which is like now at sort of like a turning point. Like D trans, pe- there are people that were trans or got like SRS, and now they either regret it or something, and which has to be real. Yeah. You know, there ha- obviously there's some people that th- that's just the way things work. I know? would have been that. I wanted to be a boy so much when yeah, I was like 13. Yeah. yeah. There's there's got to be statistically there's got to be some people that shouldn't be getting. SRS that are, and I'm not going to get into a bigger argument about kids or whoever should be getting it, but everybody feels the same. Statistically, there, the same. there has to be. And then for a while, it, or like a couple of years ago, you know, like it, it, I remember like looking into it, and there's, you know, like those people would be suppressed by at least trans people online or, you know, like online mobs because it like right. delegitimizes, because obviously conservatives are going to latch onto that and say, well, see, People regret it. They shouldn't be getting it, even though it's statistically a small amount. But then you can say, okay, well, statistically trans people in general are a small yeah. amount or whatever. But now within even the detrans community, there's re-trans people. People no that trans yes. <laughs> yes. There's D Rees? There's D Reads re re detransitioned <laughs> people. No way. Yeah. There are people who are like, Okay, I want to be a boy, and then they're like, fuck that, I want to be a girl. And then they're like, yeah. No, 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 I actually want to be a boy. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you know, the the Dr. Seuss book where people are putting stars on their stomach? Like it's that. But <laughs> I saw on Twitter I, on Twitter. There's and I don't like I don't even know how to not misgender. I've read for the, of the at the time of this writing, she like posted a posted a poll and it's like should I retransition? And it's like they're just going to Twitter and like like an Elon no Musk way. yeah Twitter poll they're polling their they're po- po- poll to, <laughs> to see if they should get their new genitals removed and put it back on the other the old hormones from before and uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Wh- it's wh- the same. I mean, that is the same mental illness as the women. I mean, I have friends whose lips are becoming these insane, gobby, insane, inflated mouths, and they just keep being like, I hate it. I'm waiting for the Botox to wear off, and the next time I see them, it's twice as big. I think mm-hmm. it is a similar thing. Yeah. I think you get addicted to tra- to transforming. 